I want to start off this video on day 113 by talking about some of the fungi. So there's been a lot of mushrooms growing in my yellow onion pot, also especially in my sweet potato germination experiment. So these are mushrooms that have withered. They basically last one day, they sprout up overnight, and when the sun hits in the afternoon, as soon as there's direct sunlight, um, they wither and shrivel up and die. So there's a network of fungal mycelia in this soil which is mostly composed of wood chips as you can see and those are you know single cell tentacles so to speak that extend throughout the entire potting mix and they feed off the decaying wood and other decaying organic matter so here's a few different angles of these mushrooms I think what we're dealing with here is either the common bonnet or the pleated ink cap. Uh, I'm not quite sure which one is which. You know, it's kind of hard to get a sense of scale to for a lot of the photos I see on the internet. I used to be, you know, kind of a mushroom buff when I was a little kid. I had a mushroom uh, identification field guide that I looked at all the time. To me, all these mushrooms look like little white mushrooms, but when you look closely, you know, the caps have these folds kind of like an umbrella, only greatly multiplied. In the number of folds so you can see the undersides of these caps and the gills there if anyone can identify these mushrooms uh, please let me know so I think I have it narrowed down to some kind of a bonnet species or in cap but in any case it'll take me longer to identify these mushrooms I really need these to grow a lot larger and reach their full potential before I can judge for sure and here's uh, some more wither mushrooms. Uh, they kind of blend in with the dirt. And here's a nascent little budding mushroom. Okay, it's day 114 of my yellow onion germination experiment. So you can see leaves kind of sprawling all over the place. That's really due to the fault of what was formerly known as bulb number one. You know, uh, this plant it didn't do too well at first. You know, some leaves I had to cut out I had to cut down four of them at the halfway mark or roughly less and you know the new leaves that have come out have come out of this elongated rapidly extending you know vertically upward shoot system and the new leaves are just very very long so um, they're kind of falling all over the place the same has happened with this other one you know, right here it's got a leaf you know going all the way there and you know stretching all over the place so um, you know I might have to move this a little further out from the sliding door give it a little bit of room um, I expected a little bit more rigidity but you know that's been the case for plant two um, or as I should say plants you know one through four coming from bulb two um, which is this entire mess here so there are some yellow leaf tips, but everything else seems really healthy. You know, it's possible these conditions aren't optimal for these onion plants, but uh, I'm new to this, so I don't really know what is optimal. But these leaves seem to be doing pretty good. I mean, if 98% of your leaf surface is all lush and green um, for these weird hollow leaves, then you know, you've got to be doing something right at least. So just 24 hours later, we have a medium-sized mushroom, if you will. At least I'm just calling it medium based on the size comparison between the much, much smaller mushrooms we saw uh, 24 hours ago that seemed a lot more immature. The stalks weren't as long. So we get a little bit more resolution here as to what this is. You know, I still don't know what this is. You know, a bonnet, an ink cap mushroom, you know. And the edges are probably a little frayed because it's drying out, um, even though there's not full sun yet in the day. Um, it's just too dry unless there's shade and plenty, plenty of moisture. So actually, if you're interested, you can check out my channel. There's a, a video I made um, in 2012 called Mushrooms of New York State. And it's got a whole bunch of assorted footage of many mushrooms that my family and I encountered maybe about 90 minutes away north of New York City in the forest. So it was during the summer, it was extremely humid, maybe 100% humidity. 
because there was a little stream or brook passing by that section of the forest and literally every tree trunk and every fallen piece of wood and you know every square meter of ground had mushrooms in it so that's a pretty interesting video but alas it's not narrated it's one of my older videos and it's also completely devoid of you know identification information regarding what those mushroom species are but if you just like to be dazzled by uh, vastly varying appearances of different mushrooms and how exotic they can be check that out and here's a rear angle shot from the sliding door so it's past 2 p.m. and you know we're gonna have the Sun coming in and that's exactly what my other plants need but you know when it gets here it's probably gonna roast that mushroom and kill it like it did with the footage I have from the previous days it's day 122 this yellow onion germination experiment so there's been a lot of foliage growth and bulk 2 has these you know four plants originating from it and they seem to be kind of tilting away from each other um, it's kind of what I expected you know they need to grow separately and eventually generate four large on yellow onion bulbs so it's going to take up a lot of space and push a lot of soil aside I imagine so for bulb one, you had these two plants coming out. One of the real problems is these new leaves that have come out just can't really seem to stand up on their own. You know, there's maybe one here that's fine. Um, but for this other plant coming out of bulb one, you know, it just keeps doing this. Uh, that bulb, you know, as I predicted, was not going to do nearly as well as bulb two because of all the mold. And I have no idea what's going on underground, but... So I've watered a lot from the top, but at the same time, uh, I think two or three days ago, I watered from the bottom, and not much water has been used up, but you know, I'm not sure if water will get to the shallow roots of these yellow onions. I don't know what these white strands are. I'm pretty sure those aren't yellow onion roots. Those are probably just dead, drowned, you know, mushroom stalks. Uh, mushrooms do sprout from the bottom of these, uh, bottom watering plant spot pots so that's kind of funny how that works I've never seen that before but they will grow upside down so I think I will water uh, from the top today here's a dried vestige of a mushroom that sprouted last night and I'm sure by tomorrow morning there's gonna be a lot more mushrooms but that's okay um, they don't really seem to be harming the plants themselves and they may be competing with the other forms of fungi and you know secreting inhibitory compounds that will inhibit the growth of other forms of fungi competitors so to speak so I don't want these drooping leaves from bulb number one to interfere with my tomato plant seedlings so I kind of curl them around so they'll go behind the pot instead of uh, whacking all those nascent tomato seedlings and that'll be less annoying this is a leaf tip from one of the plants that originated from bulb 2 and this is interesting because I think this is a little atypical it doesn't seem like you know just something that happens uh, for normal vegetative growth I don't know if this is going to become a flower or whatnot I mean it seems too soon or maybe not you know it is day um, 122 of this experiment but you know most of those days were in the refrigerator so you know, um, it hasn't been all that long, but this just kind of seemed like it was going to die back and become hollow. And now it seems to have taken on, you know, a different character all by itself. So I'm not going to squeeze it or anything, but you know, it's just interesting how these leaves are all hollow. Um, you know, I don't know if this is how they flower. I haven't done any research on purpose for... You know, most of these plant experiments because I want to be surprised when things actually do happen. So I'll get back to you in a few days on what this is. So I'm still going to do a little bit of watering from the top just to ensure that these plants with their potentially very shallow roots, um, you know, I'd really have to dig them up to find out how long the roots are, but... This will, of course, spur a lot of mushroom growth. Um, 
over the next two or three days.